Kerbals. Yes. And they, we have puppies in studio. Have you seen anything cuter? They're so cute. Look at them. Look at them. Dr. Julie Shell brought them by. We're going to meet this, this, do the dog, the mom, survived parvo and is fine and had babies. We're going to find out how it all went. Am I not pretty enough? Good morning, everybody. You know what? I think this is the first time in 10 years that we've actually had uh, puppies and a mom feeding on our show. <laughs> Isn't that great? Dr. Julie Shell is joining us here today, and she brought uh, the folks that are helping out with the dogs. This is John and Jessica with us here, and their beautiful dog, and explain why you wanted this dog here today. Well, Akila is actually quite a miracle. She actually contracted parvo at the age of 15 months, and usually we see parvo infections at a much earlier age. But she contracted it because her puppy vaccinations weren't totally adequate. She w didn't receive quite enough puppy mm. vaccinations. And so it shows us that definitely it's very important for puppies to get at least three vaccinations throughout their lifetime. And then um, on a yearly basis, they can get three vaccinations. They're really well. pulling on her there. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> they're strong. They are, yow! <laughs> and explain what parvo is for people who don't know. Parvo is a very scary virus that dogs can contract. They usually get it from um, a fecal oral route, so they are out in the environment and they can smell dirt that is contaminated with the feces that has the parvovirus in it. Yeah. It's considered ubiquitous, so that means that every environment has it no matter where we are. It's on people's clothing. It's probably on our clothing right now as we speak. Really? Yep. It's in every room, every house, every park, every backyard. It's one of these viruses that can live in many different environments for quite a long time. So then how, and unless you're uh, vaccinated, you're going to get it? That's right. The mother, first of all, has to have the vaccination so that she can give the um, antibodies in her milk. The colostrum, the first milk, has yeah. antibodies. And so the puppies will have some maternal antibodies if the mother has been vaccinated. But then those wear off quite quickly. And so they need the proper vaccination from the veterinarians. And well. how do you know if your dog has parvo? Oh, it's very frightening. The first signs are extreme lethargy and depression. And then um, they stop eating. They start vomiting and having severe diarrhea and becoming very, very dehydrated hydrated and it's once they've reached that stage it's really hard to get them back and John when you're uh, a key Aquila. Aquila had it did did you own her at that point did yes. you know and was it terrifying yeah it was it was uh, it was heartbreaking you don't know what's uh, you don't know what's going on with her you know they just start vomiting and, and really bad diarrhea and uh, next thing you're off to the vet and fortunately obviously you were yeah, and was it sort of miraculous that she was able to well, she was strong. She wasn't as sick as she would have been if she never had any vaccinations at all. Right. But definitely we were able to save her. We started her right away on IV fluids, antibiotics, pain control medicine, and constant hospitalization for days. And were you surprised when she, was, when she had puppies? I was so happy because that shows the completion of the life cycle that you can get them through it. And now these puppies are so protected and they are going to be fully vaccinated as soon as they're old enough. And right now they do have the maternal antibody on board, so it's just a miracle to see that cycle of life. And what is she doing now? <laughs> just Clean sort it. of organizing? Cleaning Clean. them, yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah. And explain to me, if for folks at home, what they need to do to be sure that they're okay. Definitely they should, if at any chance you feel that your puppy is sick, bring them to the veterinarian right away. Also, as soon as you do get a puppy, get him examined by a veterinarian right away because the veterinarian will let you know if and when the next uh, puppy vaccinations are due, they will also give a full physical exam and check it for certain diseases. What if I find a puppy and I, and I say, yay, I'm going to adopt it. If I bring it into you, can you tell if they've had an adoption? Yes, there's definitely ways of testing to see if the dogs have parvo or not. There's yeah. um, fecal samples. There's also blood titers that can be collected and, and sampled. And so there's ways of checking also by physical examination and, and checking for things like dehydration, checking the white and red blood cell count as well. Um, it will be really low. So you can find out. Yes. Yeah. Easy enough. So yeah. first advice is make sure it gets checked. Yes. And then once you're done to that, then you're okay. Yep. And so as a vet, when you look at this, what are you looking for to be sure she's a ready mom? Oh, basically to make sure that she is mothering the babies. They will stimulate them to help them urinate and defecate. Um, the mother... Is that what they're doing that's now? That's exactly what they're doing because often babies <laughs> cannot defecate on their own without um, that mechanical stimulation. And also she's taking really good care to make sure that they are feeding well and she's producing a lot of milk Isn't and that that's interesting. very important. Yep. 
it's important to, if the mother isn't stimulating them like she is, then the owners, like the humans, have to do that with a soft face cloth and, and try to encourage them to urinate and defecate that way. Same idea. How old yes. are these puppies, John? Three weeks. Three weeks. And it, and what are you looking for for puppy help at three weeks as a vet? What Everything. We will give them a full physical exam. We check their heart. We check their eyes. We check them for cleft palate or mouth deformities. We look for things like umbilical hernias or other types of birth defects. <laughs> so cute. And um, underbites and, and things. Yep. And check their temperature. Check their hydration levels. See how so see how energetic they are and do the whole physical exam. We also get them dewormed and of course vaccinated right away. I, I'm, just glad there's a, I'm just glad there's a mom here that's able to get the, stimulate the um, <laughs> fecal production because I wouldn't want that job. As it far as so. jobs go, I'd do another job if I could. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's really good of you to come by. Jessica and John, thank you very much for bringing Akita yep. in and the, and the wonderful puppies. And again, if you have a dog, make sure they're checked, make sure they're vaccinated. Absolutely. I heard it here. We're going to go for a break. <laughs> Look at you guys. When we come back, we're talking Special Olympics, and they're looking for new athletes. If you think you have somebody who might be a great Special Olympian, we're going to find you how you can get in touch with them right after this.